you feeling before your fight this evening? I'd like to say calm and collected, but I'd be lying. Really? <laughs> yeah, I think I... It feels like no matter how many times I go, you're always... Yeah. Heart's pumping. Well, good luck. Hey there, Builder Blog. It's Captain Zach Sparrow here, and this is week three of BattleBots Face-Offs. I'm turning over control of the Builder Blog to Nick, the Captain of Manta. Um, if you're not familiar with him yet, go back and watch our RoboGames episode talking about the rookie that destroyed RoboGames. Nick has won the gold medal at RoboGames two years in a row, and he's making his BattleBot Day appearance. And I, uh, I'm excited. But he doesn't have an easy road. He has to fight Rick Russ. And for the uninitiated, he is formerly part of the Hardcore Robotics team, AKA Tombstone. He was Ray's pit chief the year Ray won the giant nut. So Manta has a hell of a fight in the road for him. But let's turn this over to Nick and see what shenanigans are going down week three in Face Off. Hey Builder Blog, it's Nick, team captain of Manta, and we're here at BattleBots. Face Off's week three, so let me take you inside. I think that's probably the idea here. Liam, do you have a... <laughs> Might as well just blow into it at that point. This is higher PSI. Come on. Come on. safety which is great everything went very smooth um, the drum is very low to the floor we've learned which is okay and then we just took the top off check for anything that's too hot which it isn't which is great and then yeah we're just gonna top off the batteries and wait for our fight all right so we're here in the battery bunker and we got all our batteries laid out i want to give a huge thanks to smc we provide our batteries for Manta and they're amazing. So we're gonna get these charged up, ready to go. Next up, we have a new rookie entering the battle box. This is Travis T. And if you're wondering what its primary weapon is, it is a horizontal spinner. But unlike most horizontal spinners, it's actually adjustable mid fight. Um, the back leg can go up and down, allowing Travis T to hit at different heights. This is the exact kind of robot Scorpios hates fighting. Horizontal spinning bar, inch and a half thick, 78 pounds. Uh, when, I, when it was built last Friday, when it, in the last Friday, it had a big E-Tech motor on it, spinning it, close to 250 miles an hour. Spin of time was two seconds. It was awesome. That's not what we had here at the, the base offs, but it was awesome. Nice, nice. I think their weapon's heavier than mine, right? 70 something? 78 pounds. Yeah. yeah. Heavier than man's drum. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, and um, what got you guys into the sport? 
Well, I got into it uh, back in the Comedy Central. Uh, my brother-in-law thought I'd like it, sent me back to VHS tapes back in the day, it was so long ago. And so I plugged them into the machine, I watched the Battle Bots and said, man, I got it. That is the coolest thing in the world. And so I, I think, put down, got a napkin, figured out, oh, I need this part, this part. I could probably do that for 600 bucks. And it's like forty thousand dollars later, it's uh, you know, still spending money. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I had a lightweight uh, uh, horizontal spinner back in the day with a gas-powered engine. People loved it because it, it, it just screamed. It was totally unmuffled. I mean, it just screamed. And uh, we had a pretty, we had about a seventy percent win winning record. Most of the time when we lost, it was because we, we flipped ourselves over. Yeah. But then I figured out I had a self-writing mechanism that was like a mass that came up with these arms that stuck out, all made out of UHMW. Uh, it would fly through the air, land on that, bounce around, fuck right back on the feet. <laughs> I think we call it the hoop of shame. Yeah, you know when you don't build an self rider, you got, gotta put a hoop of plastic right. on there yeah, to turn you over. Yep, yep. Yeah. The hoop of shame. That's awesome. Well, yeah, thank you so much and you know, good luck. Thank you. All right, we're here with Rick from Hellfire. Um, you bought, kind of? Uh, you want to describe kind of what's it's new with been, it? It's been here a few times. We're, we're kind of, it's a work in progress. We're working on the drive system now. Uh, getting the drive system to handle the weapon system is a big chore. Right. Um, it likes to do, it's, it's the control, Alec control robot. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like Tombstone, you know, you yeah. used to be on Tombstone. You guys obviously want a giant nut. Animal. What is animal? What is animal? What does it take to do that for, for, for like a new builder like me? Well, you're well on your way. <laughs> you're well on your way. Thank okay, you. but don't expect the same thing every time, okay? Because yeah. there are other horizontals that are hard hitters. There are other uh, verticals that are hard hitters. I mean, it's hard. And put your heart and your soul into this, okay? It's for the love of the sport. It's not yeah. whether you win or lose every time. It's for the love of the sport. You gotta love robot fighting? Yeah, yeah. I have a whole shop at home that I had built on my property just for my robots. <laughs> you too. My, my garage is pretty much like that too. It's just, just for me. So. <laughs> I have a garage. You won't let me have a garage. My Mustang's in there. Too. Jack and Diana have been there, you know, they've uh, come over and made parts and yeah. stuff like that. So they got that. everything. You don't, you don't need to like outsource a lot of stuff, which is Everything nice. here is built in-house with the exception of the blade. The blade was done at F&K down south. Nice. And, uh, you know, those guys do really good work at a really good price. Nice. You know, but that's, uh, it's a love of the sport. I mean, if I couldn't get up and go out to my shop every day, I would have just sit there. I'm gotta love it. I'm, I got retired out early when I was 65. Okay, I'm 70 now. Okay. And uh, if I could go out to my shop and do my thing and work on robots, I don't know what I would do. Well, well thank you, Rick. You got a hell of a robot. No pun intended. <laughs> well, so we got the big wedge on the robot yeah. for a Hellfire. And we're feeling pretty good. You know, we. We're just hoping the drum doesn't crack or break. Is it too meta to film you filming it? No. <laughs> nervous before a fight, but um, it'll be a fun one. I can't see that though. Do you guys see everything? Yeah, yeah. Alright, we're here with Rusty, David. Um, so, what's new on Rusty this year? So, the new Rusty is all gas powered, all mechanical, uh, hydrostatic drives, uh, hydraulic pump system for the weapon and everything. Um, AR-500 chassis and all that. So he's a he's a bit of a change of speed from the original robot. You know, not so much uh, whatever, whenever, whatever's laying around kind of thing. So, um, 
a bit of a different piece. So a little more guess. professional. A little bit, a little yeah. Bit yeah, the funny thing is, is the uh, old robot, you could really MacGyver the old robot at the last second or when you had issues, so it was easier to repair the old robot. Um, that being said, with time, as I get him dialed in, uh, the new Rusty is going to be a contender of time. So, at least at least a threat. The big thing is, is making a weapon, especially with a hammer, that is uh, a threat. It's getting harder and harder with the stronger and bigger and beefier robots, such as yours. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's all your fault. Hey, one, yeah. good, one good hit on Manson. You'd yeah, one good hit. You can take me out. Yeah. Possible. Yeah. What about the hammer? How does that work with the gas engine? Yeah, so the hammer system is one of the things that I've been that I've been playing around with a lot, trying to get it to really put out a lot of power. Um, I, the hammer is hydraulic. It's a hydraulic cylinder, and what I do is the back side of the cylinder, I use it as an accumulator. So the engine has a little electromagnetic clutch and a small hydraulic pump, and there's an IFM pressure switch. And so when I turn on power to that switch, it says, you know, under a certain pressure, turn that clutch on. When it reaches set pressure, turn the clutch off. So that engages and disengages that pump. That pump pumps uh, pressure into the front side of the hydraulic cylinder, which retracts the cylinder, which retracts the hammer. As it does that, it compresses that air and creates an air spring, essentially, to create the hammer system. Sounds pretty cool. It, it is pretty good. It is cool. Um, it's one of those things that's tough, too, because of the customizations which are the cylinder and whatnot. Um, I'm always trying to tweak and standard weight. Weight's my, one of my biggest enemies. It's trying to keep the system underweight, compact, and uh, leak free. Well, there aren't a lot of gas powered robots around, so no. thanks for keeping it alive. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Doing my part. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, you're good. Thanks. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, of course. Alright Builder Vlog, that's it for this weekend. Shout out to all the teams we fought, they're all great. Hellfire, Rusty, Travis T, and shout out to Scorpios for letting us take over this weekend. And you know, you got all our lovely sponsors, go check them out. And check out our YouTube, Team Tanto Robotics, to see more Manta if you want. So yeah, thanks guys. So super big thank you to Nick. It's a lot of work to run around and do all that filming, and I really appreciate um, that he took the time to do that while he was out there trying to win himself a giant washer. So, uh, why don't you guys do him a favor? I put a link to his own YouTube channel. If you'd like to keep up on Manta and all the crazy things he's doing, go down and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Do the Builder Blog a solid and check him out too. So, uh, next week there's nothing. Yeah, uh, Face Off is taking a week off. Uh, for the F1 competition, and, but but another week from then, uh, witch doctors coming in. Ooh, we're getting to the spooky Halloween robots. They're going to be fighting Magnitude, Doom, and and how can I forget the last one? The Taco Tuesday. He has extra power if you fight him on Tuesdays. So. <laughs> I, uh, I'm actually not sending an uh, undercover reporter to film that one. Uh, the Witch Doctor team has an excellent YouTube channel. If you haven't seen that one as well, you should check it out. And I'm sure the Witch Doctor team is going to have that one covered. So, uh, next week, we're going out to Bishop Weisscarver, and you're going to see how we finally fixed the weapon on Scorpios. You don't want to miss it. This might be plaguing your robot. So, uh, come on back. And uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Normally, I blow bubbles.